people and welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan thank you so much for coming back guys I really truly appreciate it I know that you are all busy and got things to do and you decided to spend a little bit of your time with me today and I totally appreciate you guys so before we hop right into the video I just wanted to say that if you're a lifetime loyal I am so thankful for you guys. I am so thankful for your comments, your love, your support. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I am so excited for you to become a part of the family, get to know me a little bit better, and, you know, enjoy some videos, some different content. So thank you guys so much, and let's hop into the video. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. So the first thing I wanted to do was organize these cubbies, basically. So on one side, I have my soaps and different things like that that I'll be selling. Soaps, I got my candle jars and so forth. And then on the other side, I have my jewelry. And I just wanted to make this a little bit more organized. I actually got some of these gray storage cubes from Walmart, which were much more reasonable than Bed Bath & Beyond. And they're still gray. I like them as long as they do the trick with keeping things organized for me and not making it look so cluttered. So as I was doing this, I actually realized that I had to run to the grocery store. So I had to stop what I was doing, run to the grocery store. I did a video on that. And then I said, you know what? I can't put the food up without cleaning out the refrigerator. Is anyone else like that? Like, I don't like to go to the grocery store and get food without cleaning out my refrigerator. It's it's just how I am. So <laughs> I stopped with the dining room, moved on to the kitchen, and I clean out the refrigerator, give it a thorough clean, clean all the shelves, look at all the dates, make sure everything is still good. And then I put up all the food and then I move on to the kitchen. So yeah, let me know down below if anyone else is like that. You have to clean out your refrigerator before you put more food in there. Da -da -da. I can hide to see a clean organized refrigerator yes <laughs> everything looks so nice so guys also I am in the market for a new refrigerator I am looking pricing you know doing my research because this one I think is about to die um, several pieces got broken when they moved it into the house for me unfortunately 
um and i just feel like it's on its last leg so yeah i am looking for a new refrigerator that's something that i will be purchasing sooner than i thought but anyway i cleaned off all of the items on the door i just love how like again how organized everything is it's easy to find you know all of that so of course when you have kids it doesn't stay like this very long it does not we all know this but I like to look at it when it's nice and clean so now I'm moving on to the dishes I had a couple dishes that I needed to get done over here before I moved on to the rest of the kitchen I don't know what it is but I just like to I work in a pattern I guess so definitely dishes are number one and then I move on to the stove and then I move on to the floor and so forth but you'll see in this video how I organized my cabinets I definitely want to show you that and I do still have two more cabinets that I need to organize which will probably be in the next video for you guys So in the midst of me cleaning, we also got to cook, you know, make sure our family is taken care of. So this is a true depiction of what my life looks like, guys. Like sometimes you just can't go into one room and clean it up from start to, you know, from top to bottom. You got to, you know, take your time. You got to move on. You got to cook. You got to clean. You got to help the kids with something. You got to do this. So you'll definitely see that in this in this video of how I have to just do a couple things here and there, move on, do something else. But yeah, so I'm making dinner for them. I actually made some hamburgers and fries. I put the fries in the air fryer for them. And then I will be, what else? Oh, you know what, guys? So then I clean up most of the kitchen. I feed the kids. And then I actually start cleaning up the dining room again. So you'll see how it goes back and forth. But I, I love this video because it's a real true depiction of how it is sometimes for me. Until I saw and I met your eyes That's why I'm moving close To be here and to get you under my skin And right back to where we've been Give me a sign and tell me when to begin Cause every time we leave I'm a longing back Back to the place where the lights go down Just you and I leaving out the rest Oh
so as you can see, I'm stopping the cleaning again for just a moment, just to show you how I got to do different things within the day. So I do work with Cadence daily on her words, her reading and her writing and her spelling, as well as um, she does Hooked on Phonics. And I also got ABC Mouse for her. And I got Homer too, but she prefers Hooked on Phonics much better. So Kinsley also, I work with her too, but Kinsley is a little bit more ahead when it comes to the reading. She's pretty, she's pretty good on that. So I work with Cadence with the words, the cards, the flashcards, and then we read a book. We always read a book so that she can, you know, put everything together. This little girl is so sweet, so cute. I actually did a little video on Instagram. So if you want to check that out, definitely go, go see what she was saying here. She's she cracks me up. She's so funny. But yeah, so now moving back on back into the dining room, just getting that cleaned up. And I will be taking down those little shelves right there that's in my desk area. I want to put up some that I get from Home Depot. So I'm going to go and get them custom cut and then I'm going to hang those back up just to make it a little bit more bigger, um, a little bigger in that area, the shelving. So yeah, as you can see, I'm going through organizing. I found a necklace that London's teacher sent her. Um, just little things like this that I just got to get together. Um, the pictures that I had in here, I'm giving away a lot of pictures and stuff that I do not need. And some stuff I'm putting in the basement. Eventually, I will definitely do a basement video because... I am noticing now that I do need to utilize that storage much more. But anyway, I'm going to finish cleaning up this dining room, get it together. I love the look of it when it's done, guys. You're going to love it too, trust me. I think I'm finally getting this, what is it called? This disorganizing um, or this organizing. So as you can see, this decluttering, that's what I wanted to say. A lot of it, look at that, guys. It's so freaking beautiful. And the water and stuff is off the floor. Um, the little cubbies, everything is organized. I got my printer. I got my Cricut. This little stuff over here by my desk, we are getting another pet soon. So don't worry about that. And I will be getting another picture right there by Like a Boss up there on my wall. I want to put one more picture up there. But yeah, everything is nice and organized. I love it. And I will be getting a desk chair, but see how the air conditioner is right by the desk? I don't want the air blowing on me when I'm trying to sit there and work, if that makes sense. But I love the way everything is. Yay. Now, <laughs> now I'm moving on into the kitchen. I'm making the kids a snack. So sometimes they'll get up, they'll come down, they'll get cereal, they'll get yogurt, they'll get some fruit. And then they'll ask for a bigger breakfast. So I don't mind. I'll make them some eggs, some bacon, some sausage, you know, or biscuits or something like that so that's what i'm actually doing i'm making them a a bigger breakfast that turned into lunch basically so yes let's see what this is about right now right now okay i 
Don't know which way we're going, no control You push me, then you pull me back in Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin I will keep on trying till You give me a sign Give me a sign Ah, oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more you leave me hanging, begging for more Think that I'm addicted to this Can't resist to be a little risky and go For it cause I want you close I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering You know I'd do anything To be in your arms again So give me a sign Give me a sign Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign Just give me one more Talking to you Here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all in So give me a sign could go for this, no more tricks We could take things slow Say, you think about it too When the lights go out and there's no doubt That I should be with That I should be We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going No control, you push me then you pull me back in mm -mm -mm. We've been on and off again and again I don't know which way we're going. No. I actually like having the larger couch in front of the window and moving the TV over to the other side. <laughs> Ayana and I, we were super excited when we finally got it done. We set it back up because, you know, when you unplug the TV and all the cords and everything, it just doesn't. It's hard to get it back together. You know, I don't know. I'm not that tech savvy person when it comes to stuff like that. So. I was feeling really good with moving the furniture all around. That gave me a chance to clean all areas of the living room. I also cleaned the windows off. If you saw, I know it's kind of bright. Um, it was about 90 degrees that day. 
but I cleaned the windows and then we cleaned out the cushions and everything so feeling pretty good about the dining room and it looks super amazing I do have another project I will be painting that white hutch with the pictures on it that's to the right over here I'll be painting that and I wanted to spruce that up and then I also have some different knobs that I want to put on that so really excited about that it'll give it a pop of color to the room so I'm excited about that and of course as soon as I get done cleaning up this living room the kids are going to come in here and make themselves comfortable which of course I don't mind they can do that as long as they clean up after themselves <laughs> So yeah, also guys, tell me down below, I buy bottles of water and I'm starting to, I don't know, like I want to stop buying them because I see half open bottles all over the place. It's driving me bonkers. And then the kids are like, that's not mine. That's not mine. That's not mine. So now what I do is I put their name on the bottle with a permanent marker and keep your bottle. Drink your water, guys. Quit wasting water. Like, I hate to even buy water because it's, it's water. Like, I don't understand. But anyway, if you, as you can see on the mantle, like, there's two bottles right there. And then I think after I got done cleaning up the dining room, I might have had, like, five bottles of water. Half open bottles of water. Yeah, it drives me crazy. Go a little crazy and lose it. mad at myself for thinking like this but I'm actually still thinking about fall like decorating because of course I will take the yellow away for when the fall comes around and I'll add new colors in and I think I've decided what I want to do what colors I want to go with and this little hutch right here I will be painting so I painted this several years ago it's kind of nicked up and, and things like that so it's time to get a fresh coat of paint on there and I'm excited to do that and I also want to get a floor plant as well to put in here. And now I'm just doing some room spray that I got from, I think it was TJ Maxx, vanilla. What is it? Uh, lavender and vanilla. It smells amazing, guys. Amazing. Give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more. Think that I'm addicted to this can't resist to be a little now I am moving on to the kitchen and it's darker now the kids are getting ready to go to bed <laughs> I was just telling them okay guys time to go get in the tub time to get washed up you know time to get ready for bed because I'm going to mop the kitchen and then the kitchen is going to be shut down like I wish I could put close the door and say kitchen closed kitchen closed don't go in there no more <laughs> anyway I am going to mop the kitchen and finish up in here and sometimes I do go back and forth over the floor like three times but in the water I just added some dish soap and bleach just so you know I like to put bleach on my floor now the kitchen is nice and clean I am loving it I love how I have all of my appliances over here you know the coffee maker the air fryer the microwave the um, water i forget what it's called but you heat up your water so anyway yes the kitchen is clean it's 10 16 at night guys yes <laughs> but i'm loving it i'm loving it so much and i love the way the kitchen turned out i wanted to show you the cabinets so i did organize in there on the bottom row 
that's where the plates and cups and the bowls the kids can access that stuff very easily and they don't need to try and reach up higher and this cabinet over here I have a lot of my baking stuff in here I still have some more baking stuff that I need to organize but that's going to be the baking cabinet and that way the kids don't need to really get into that too much but that is it the kitchen looks amazing so I am very pleased with how everything is coming out and like I said I do still have two more drawers that I need to organize so you'll probably see that in the next video because I'll probably run over to Michael's not Michael's Marshall's or TJ Maxx or something just to get some more organizing stuff for that and then we have the living room the living room is done I am loving that and then I'll show you the dining room but thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys to the moon and back don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me what you think and again the kitchen I mean the living room might be a little work in progress because I'm still trying to figure things out and I do want to still paint the baseboards and the trim in the house as well so that's another project but thank you guys for watching i love you so much i really truly appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful day bye Someone